People, we love to make things. To do it yourself, to DIY. In the attic, the basement, the backyard, and in front of a camera. And those camera DIYers, they've got something you'll like. From the TV studio to the studio apartment, they're making something up just for you. It's That DIY Show. Today, little DIY project. We got a box. Viewer's Choice has pro tips you won't want to miss. And from the hive mind, a fishy idea for the dinner table. And later, there can only be one winner though. A battle build for the best palette cabinet and going behind the curtain with a leatherworking pro. It's not just technical things, it's very much a uh, human based. The fine art of a leather worker and a whole lot more. But first, it's your questions and your project on That DIY Show. Hey viewers choice, my family's big into washer toss, but I'm so bad at it, I lose every time. Next family reunion, I have got to win a match. So I was thinking, maybe you could help me build my own boxes so that I get some practice in before the big day. Got any ideas? Great question and a great little DIY project. It's no horseshoes, but it's still a pretty good game. I play with my friends all the time. Anyway, good times with friends. All we need to whip together a couple washer toss boxes is some wood, some pipe, and of course, some heavy washers. I'm using plywood and pine today. They are cheap and they're durable. First things first, we gotta make us some boxes. So let's cut this wood down. To start, we're gonna to put together these boxes, but instead of using wood glue, today I'm gonna to use construction adhesive, and there's a few reasons why. One, it's stronger, but most importantly, it's weather resistant. And let's be honest, these things are gonna be left outside after an afternoon of playing, whether on purpose or by accident. All right, I need some screws and some clamps. We got a box, pretty simple. We have two longer pieces and two shorter pieces, and those are gonna give us butt end joints. They're gonna be stronger than miter joints, and they're faster. Let's lay down some construction adhesive. Ugh, it's really slimy stuff. This stuff takes a little bit longer to set than wood glue, so you have a little extra time. You gotta make sure everything's straight and then clamp it together and let it rest. Looks pretty square. Time to screw. Let's test it out. That's not right. We need a pipe. I got a little bit of PVC pipe and it's gonna go right here. But I have to cut it down a little bit first. We have a lot of leftover pipe, so we're gonna cut off about a one inch piece and use that as a stencil for our next step. Perfect. Trace out a circle, cut it out on the bandsaw, and put it in the pipe. Two pipes, and we're ready for paint. Team red, and team blue. Spray paint's easy, so let's do the boxes with it too. The wood from the boxes is gonna last a lot longer with that coat of paint, but these zinc washers will be fine without paint. Not everything's about practicality though. Team blue, and a little bit of glitter. Ooh, sparkly. It's like putting a little bit of sugar on a cookie. The more you put on, the better, which is always true with glitter. Oh, my gorgeous little glitter babies. The paint's dry on these washers, but they're still totally tacky. Huh. I guess everything else is probably dry too. According to the official washer toss rule book, the pipe needs to be in the center of the box. And the center is right there. That's center. We have one last important step. It's connecting them together with a piece of rope that will give us the perfect distance apart for a good game. We're gonna do that by drilling holes through the front of each box and connecting them with a long piece of rope. The distance between these boxes is really important, so I need to consult the rule book again. 25 feet, that's regulation, that's what we're going with. This should be 25 feet if I did my math correctly, which I sometimes don't. Time to tie some knots. 
This is when knowing your knots comes in handy. You need a really technical knot here. Uh, I'm going for the double shoelace, which I just made up now. That's game. I have this fully stocked workshop, but you don't need any of that to do these projects at home. You just need a few basic tools and a bit of creativity. So if you're looking for inspiration, track down the Viewer's Choice team on the street and submit your question. I'm always happy to help. We've got hands and we've got plans. What more do you need? It's That DIY Show. around the world and right around the corner. DIYers and master crafters have something to show and a story to tell. It's That DIY Show. Savinesky, and I'm a leather worker. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether it's in relation to motorcyclists or doing orthotics and prosthetics for animals. It's not just technical things, it's very much human based. Taking the time to look the person in the eye and giving them a service. Shoe repair was the start of it. At first it was very much a repair and alteration service and the custom things just kept snowballing and snowballing. Work tables, <laughs> mostly there so I can lay the hides out, cut the templates, do some dyeing. Composite rock slab right here. Uh, this is for all my hammering, for my carving and my tooling. Once those things happen, we go over more to like our finishing side of things. Sander is essential, gives you nice edges. This here is my patcher, very unique machine. 
you guys are ready, we'll get started. So today we're going to be making my flagship item, which is uh, one of my Canadian maple leaves. It uh, started out as a personal project and it turned into something that is now literally found all over the world. So I'm pretty happy with that. I take my leaf template. I'm going to be cutting out by hand as well as doing some dyeing, some finishing, some stitching. Some people call me an artist, but I also am very much a technician. In the end, it'll come together into one piece with a lot of layers of detail. There it is. No leaf is this pretty. Having my own space, being in charge of it all for myself, and being able to do some really amazing creations, you know, things that I'd never even dreamt up before, to be able to take part with these things is an amazing thing. It was a job at first, and the craft came afterwards. The shoe repair was like the fourth generation in their family, so it was a really good example of where you could find like a real old world craft. It's also a little bit of a dying industry, so I didn't want to rely entirely on something that I'd seen other places just tank. There was a demand for quality items, upholstery, custom stuff, motorcycle vests and chaps and stuff like that. You get exactly what you asked for, you get to interact with a real person. It's always been very apparent the difference between uh, a handmade quality item and what you get from the factories. I think it is very important to have people that give the factories a run for their money. The smaller the business, the better the quality is usually how it's going to run. It's something that's been around forever. There's a reason it's still around today. It's something that reminds us of where we come from. Being able to uh, harness these things that are available to us, it's important. It's an old thing. It deserves to stick around. From the workshop to the studio floor, we've got our eyes on the prize. It's That DIY Show. We're moments away from the main event, another head-to-head -head battle build. It's time to see who will rise above and take home the golden hammer. I'm Hubert McTarnish. And I'm George McGibbons. Let's shimmy on over to our competitors. I'm Jacques. I'm a carpenter from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. I've been doing this for about 20 years now, framing, building houses, doing a lot of renovation work. Jacques enjoys crocheting, curling, collecting Viking helmets, being a hair model, putting on one-man plays, scaring little children, and reaching things off of the top shelf. My name's Albert Saracini. I'm a carpenter from Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia. Interior, exterior work, and uh, I actually work with my buddy Jacques here that I'm competing against. Albert enjoys working around the house and coaching basketball and hockey. He loves Italian food, nicknamed the Italian Stallion. Feisty as always, don't cross him on the rink. He's one of them types of guy that's a great troubleshooter. Something comes up, he can change just like that on a dime. He can build a plan in his head at a moment's notice. And you know what, I'm a little bit worried about that. This week on Battle Build, you'll both have to fashion your own custom cabinet out of a pile of wood from a dirty pallet. With only the equipment you find lying around the studio, you'll have a measly four hours to impress the judges. Winner takes home the golden hammer. I don't know, I think I might have you on this one, bud. There can only be one winner, though. I was always taught it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Well, I say if you're not first, you're last. The countdown's on, buddy. Here it comes. Ready, set. Build! Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, that one's mine! No, I got it! No, I got it! Amazingly, Albert got his pallet choice first. Seeing as how Jacques could pick up Albert and the pallet. Great. Albert's smart to nab that reciprocating saw. While Jacques is preferring to use his pure Viking strength to strip that pallet. I want to see him use his bare hands. Okay. Ten bucks as Jacques wished he had thought of that first. Ooh, uh, keep, keep it down just a little bit. <laughs> What's he up to now? Oh! oh! Attempted murder! That's a first for the show. Let's see that again in slow motion. Here's the wind up and aiming straight for the back of his. Ow! Oh! Bam! Like the old saying, with friends like these. You're dead! Watch your back, buddy. Oh, you're Watch not your cutting back. those already, are you? Oh, yes. 
Finally, Jacques goes for the recip saw. What the? Oh, you s What's up? What happened? You know what you did. Looks like Jacques might be able to catch up. Oh, son of a. Oh, the hijinks never end with this one. Let's just hope he doesn't try to top attempted murder. Taking all my stuff? Where's my tape? What? Cheaters never prosper. We'll see about that. We'll see. With some carefully squiggled wood glue, Albert's cabinet is finally starting to take shape. Now, Hubert, what's that thing he's using? That's a pinner. It shoots out little pins of metal at high speeds. So it's like metal lasers. Sure. Sounds like you're running a hairdryer over there. Oh, oh looks like Jacques is what taking the... control for once. And it's not like Albert can stop him. I mean, look at him. Oh. I don't think a hammer will help here. Unless it's another attempted murder. Here, I don't want to see you cry. Well, that's too many nails. What do you? Oh no! Oh no! Jacques Cabinet nailed to the table. It's okay. Remember, he's got that Viking strength. <laughs> What's Jacques up to now? Looks like he's making use of his height advantage. You know where that pinner is, there, Jacques? Uh, I just set it over on the shelf there. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. is going to slow Albert down significantly. And we can see that Jacques' cabinet has the basic structure to it already. And Jacques is over there with a saw playing Viking Man. <laughs> you know, I used to play Viking Man when I was a kid, but my parents wouldn't let me near that old tool shed. That's unfortunate. Always on my station. How can I get anything done? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, April Fool's. Oh, oh Jesus. it's still on. Out the door! <laughs> oh, okay. catch it up. You got, oh. you got, no, 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 no. Somewhere. Yeah, no, if you get, if you just, just hold it Just steady. drop it a little bit. No, and then you gotta hold it you, steady. That, right there? You're not helping. Now down there. Then you're not helping. Oh. Thanks, bud. Here we see Jacques already putting the trim on his, and some silver screws for his hinges that would probably look better black. Would be better if they were black, wouldn't it? Did. Did he just hear me? Yeah, we could probably try to paint them. Uh, I think I got this. I'll let you handle the painting. Why am I doing enough for both of us? That's what friends are for. Room for two? Painting the screws all in a row like that. Reminds me of playing with my big brother, a scrappy game of don't get spray paint in your eyes. That explains a lot. Just pour it on? So, well. You know what this looks like? This looks like a great trophy case, this right here. You and your trophies. What? What did you win one for this time? Give me about another half an hour and I'll show you. <laughs> How's your back from being crunched over so low? This table is kind of low, isn't it? What? what? Did you build this? Wow, those screws actually do look a lot nicer. You're not going to leave the inside of yours like that, are you? Can't tell me you're happy with that. I don't know how you tricked me into staying in the inside of mine, giving me something to do, and I don't see you staying in the inside of yours. Oh, uh, that's why I use the red palette. Then I don't have to stain the inside of mine because it was a pre-pan color. Oh. Well, how nice of Albert to grind off the nails so that people don't start bleeding everywhere when they open it up. Well, he's a gentleman. With so much left to do and only 30 seconds left on the clock, these two have to really rush in order to put the finishing touches on their... Oh, oh, what's Albert up to there now? Oh, I'm hoping for more hijinks. 
Jacques seems confident with only a few seconds left to go. Yes, and wh what is Albert doing? Jacques is working diligently, and, and oh, oh, it's Trophy! Does that mean he wins? Does that mean he's psychic? Oh, God. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> Looking good. You always gotta be bigger, though, don't you? Well, that's how I roll sometimes. Great job, buddy. Nice job, man. Great job. Looks good. Well, I mean, you know how I like to cook, so just uh, big enough to jam some spice in and good to go. So what do you what do you got going on over here? Stain turned out pretty good, but what I really wanted to build it for is my large collection of uh, trophies and whatnot, and just made a little little shelf for a display case for some of my, of my shell horses. Of course you did. 1998, one of my pride and joy horses. Built some of this with uh, the glue that we got from her. <laughs> Held all together pretty nice. I think the uh, trophies may put me over the top on them. If I can win it, I'm not a super competitive guy, but a uh, little something to lord over him. After all, he's got all those trophies of his own. Let's look at Jacques' design. We see the door comes out of the middle. While not the most practical, it is artistic and some nicely crafted trim. There's not much space inside, but we do see the palette's natural hues. Now let's take a look at Albert's king cabinet. Big enough for holding the trophies he got for being a psychic. Oh, that's a thing. The inside is nicely varnished, lots of space. Certainly more practical than I'd say conventionally good looking. Drum roll. There it is. Oh my gosh. Who will it be? Oh. Here we go. Yeah, time will tell. Will it be Albert's over-the-top trophy case? Or Jacques' artistic spice cabinet? Oh, oh hey! Geez. Wow! Oh, oh, that's cool. Congratulations, wow. buddy. Thanks, man. Well done. I, well deserved, what? buddy. I thought for sure it was going to be yours. You did a great job on that. Oh. Now I guess they thought you had enough hardware of your own. <sighs> this is true. <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> you get your golden hammer. Jacques Lemire, winner of the golden hammer, 100% pure gold. I look at the materials I was building from and I try to incorporate some of what it is. So the fact that it's made of pallets, I still want some of that to show. It, it, uh, it's got to have that rustic, almost beat up look. I thought the trophies would have put me over the top, but I guess a little bit of cheating doesn't pay off. But... The, the best man won, I guess, and it was still, like I said, a lot of fun. I was happy with what I built. He was happy with what he built. You know, we'll both tell you that, ah, you know what? Should have been you, should have been you. But at the end of the day, we're both happy with our projects, and I guess I'm happy I went the way I did. Thanks for watching Battle Build. I'm Hubert McTarnish. And I'm George McGibbons. Until next time, keep your tools sharp and your nose to the grindstone.